Hey, George Blake here again this year. This is 2024. It's uh, August 5th. So I'm um, doing another, I'm going to do a quick video on this. Um, so as you see, the air conditioner is not on at this point. And that's because after two years and some money increases, I've decided to get my central air and heater replaced. So I got a whole new system, new outdoor condenser. It's a Bryant, um, really good price. Two and a half ton, central air inside, new thermostat, whole thing was $6,700 from uh, Hill Heating and Air Conditioning in Olathe, Kansas. So if you're in the Kansas City metro area, um, call them up if you need air conditioning or heating. I was just going to get the air conditioning se section repaired. And uh, he said, well, the system's about 20 years old. Do you really think you want to do that? Because it just end up replacing it later. And I said, yeah, you're right. So and it wasn't that much more. So I had the whole thing done. So anyways, um, the uh, Faithful Frigidaire is going to go bye-bye. Um, I'm selling it for 200 if anybody's in the Kansas City area. Um, but it works. still works fully. So we'll just turn it on. Still cold. Nice and cold. Everything works on it. So uh, I thought I'd go over one more time with this for you folks. Thank you for being so dedicated. So um, as you can see, the screen's a little dirty, but we'll take that off. So as I said before, if you just uh, go around the outside periphery, find the screws, pull this off, pull the screen off. The coil is about, oh, about that thick up front. And go through this one more time. I'm not going to take it apart. So I'm just going to talk talk about it. All right. So if you lift this up a little bit, and if you're real careful, you can swing this out. Be careful not to break the hoses. But if you swing it out a little bit, you'll see the foam pan, the drip hole in the back. You just clean that out really good. Flush it all out. Get it nice and clean. And then... I posted this, uh, I put text in the comments, but uh, let's go around outside and we'll talk about the outside part. So we came up with an idea. I'm going to go outside here. The dogs, are, of course, are going to want to follow. Stay. Good girls. Okay. So let's talk about the outside. So, okay. The major problem, as I described before, was getting slugs and stuff like that inside. So as you know, or as you can see, these have a lot of open slots. Well, that's good for airflow, but it's really bad keeping bugs and stuff out. So, um, as I said, you want to clean this coil really good. Don't use a pressure washer if you can avoid it. Just use a hose with a high pressure nozzle, like, uh, you know, something like that. And it's a little dirty, but anyway. Anyways, high pressure nozzle on a regular hose, just clean it all out. I turned mine on while I did it so that the fan would blow the water around. Um, it's really good if you're in the shade, if the window's in the shade. Um, the water between the water and the shade will keep it nice and cool. And uh, mine was getting kind of hot. I had mine up, mine was up around 85 in the house. And I came out, I hosed all this out, cleaned it all out, ran this with the power on. Don't worry, it's supposed to be all insulated now. If it's really old, uh, it might be questionable, but in any case, it's got a, it's got a GFCI plug on it. Um, but anyways, as I said, these things are open. The drain holes in the bottom, approximately, yeah, somewhere over on the right side. 
So, um, so here's the idea I came up with, folks. So get some screen door mesh or window mesh, window screen mesh, like this. Okay, this is open enough. It should allow airflow. It's small enough. You know, keep the bugs and the slugs and other things out. And then get enough to wrap all the way around this way, this way, this way, underneath, back up. Find a place to have it overlap. Put three or four screws, self-tapping screws with fender washers. So you want fairly big washers to hold the screen down. Or if you are uh, industrious, make a little metal strip like a piece of aluminum and screw it in just to hold the screen in place and tight. And then every year, unscrew it, take it off, hose it all out really good, wrap it back up, put the screws back in, you're set. And that's going to keep the majority of the bugs and stuff like that out of there. So... So anyways, Frigidaire, uh, you can see I pushed the coils in a little bit when I installed it myself, but the rest of it's okay. So this area is your main cooling, and if it gets dirty, you get mold, mildew, build up dirt. If you're in a dirty area like desert, um, it needs to be flushed out. Also, what I found is uh, in the spring, when all the spiders make babies and come out, um, they like to get in these. So that's another problem. So yeah, like I said, take the hose, pressure nozzle, spray it all out. If you can, turn it on, let it run. It'll, it'll push all the water out, dump all the water out, wrap it around, clean it really good, and you're probably done for the year. So... Anyway, that's uh, that's my two cents worth, and as they say, it's a penny for your thoughts. So where's the where's the other penny go? All right, um, it's gonna go bye bye at some point. Uh, let me just go around here real quick, show you the new condenser. So nice, quiet energy efficient Bryant the other one was much smaller this is a two and a half ton the other one was I'm guessing about a ton and a half two ton but uh, this thing is the power consumption is just a little bit higher than that window unit so uh, very efficient system double double the efficiency rating of the unit I had before I had a, a ream um, we won't go there, but, uh, anyway, actually it was a good unit, but, you know, 16, 20 years old, it's, it's bound to give. So, anyway, uh, that's my new air conditioner, and, uh, uh, say la vie to the Frigidaire, but, uh, as I said, the Frigidaire works, so, it's been a good, uh, a good little project, I'm glad I'm helped so many people out i thank you for the comments um so other than that that's uh, that's all i got so uh so it's george in kansas w6 bdd and we'll talk to you later when i get another video see you later